Hello guys, welcome back to my Z Guru channel. And till now we have discussed almost 100 Java interview questions. And now we are back with Selenium Automation Testing Interview Questions Part 1. So let's get started. Our first question is what is automation testing? So the automation testing is a software testing approach or it is a method in which the tester programmatically runs the test using some automation tools or a framework. Instead of executing the test cases one by one manually, the tester uses some automation tools. So the automation testing helps us to save time and efforts on executing the repetitive test that don't change frequently. So we can use the automation tools to save our time and efforts. Now let's move to our next question. Our next question is what are the differences between manual and automation testing? So as we discussed in the last question, in manual testing, the tester executes the test cases one by one manually. But in automation testing, there are some different automation tools available. And because of these tools, the automation testing is less time consuming and more efficient. While in manual testing, it is time consuming and less efficient when compared to the automation testing. In manual testing, the tester does not require any programming skills. While in automation testing, the tester must have some programming knowledge to perform the automation. In manual testing, it allows you to perform exploratory testing while it is not possible in the automation testing. So the manual testing is efficient when you have to perform accessibility testing, usability testing and user interface testing. While the automation testing is efficient for unit testing, integration testing and regression testing. So let's understand that in manual testing, the test tester executes the test cases manually while there are different tools available for the automation testing. And because of this, automation testing is less time consuming. Now let's move forward to our next question. Our next question is what is a test environment? So let's understand. A test environment is a setup that is specifically designed to test a software or the application or the system or the device that is under test. So this includes hardware, software, networks, databases and servers. Now let's understand what is the purpose of this test environment. So the purpose of a test environment is to provide platform for testing. Testers replicate the real world scenarios, configurations and data sets that may occur. So once you have the test environment set up ready, then you can replicate the real world scenarios. So the purpose of a test environment is to provide a platform for testing. Now let's move forward to our next question. Our next question is, which test cases can be automated? So as we discussed that there are different automation tools available. Now let's understand which type of test cases we can perform under automation testing. So there are several types of tests that can be automated such as regression testing, smoke testing, load testing, performance testing, security testing, integration testing and API testing. These tests help us to ensure that the software application is working as expected and 
can identify any issues or bugs that may need to be fixed. Now let's move forward to our next question. Which test cases cannot be automated? So as we discussed in the last question, we understood which test cases can be automated. So in this question, let's understand which tests are not possible because of some randomness or variation to automate. So any test that involves a lot of variation or the randomness is difficult to automate effectively. For example, exploratory testing, usability testing, ad hoc testing. As we know, exploratory testing is not possible in the automation. So let's understand. The exploratory testing involves testers exploring the software system without any knowledge of the system's behavior. It relies on the tester's intuition, making it difficult to automate. In usability testing, it requires user's experience, user's judgment and feedback. And this cannot be replicated by any automated tools. In ad hoc testing, it does not have any defined steps or procedures. So it is performed based on the tester's creativity to identify defects in the software. So the exploratory testing, usability testing and ad hoc testing, these tests involves a lot of variation or the randomness. And because of this, we cannot automate this test effectively. Now let's move forward to our next question. Our next question is what are the different types of automation testing tools? So there are functional testing tools, there are performance testing tools, there are API testing tools and security testing tools. So this depends upon the purpose, like for which testing you have to use which tool. So for example, the tools that focus on testing the application's functionality, that is functional testing tools, there are Selenium, HP UFT, Test Complete and IBM Rational Functional Tester. For performance testing, there are tools that are used for measuring and analyzing the performance of an application or the system that is under different load conditions. And for that, we use JMeter, LoadRunner and Gatling. For API testing tools, these tools are used for testing application programming interface, that is APIs, that are used for integrating different systems or applications. For that, we use Postman, SOAP UI, and REST Assured. For security testing tools, these are used for identifying and detecting security vulnerabilities in the application or system. For that, we use OWAPS, ZAP, Burnsuit, or Acunetics. Then there are mobile testing tools. So these tools are used for testing mobile application across different platforms and devices. And for those we have Appium, Test Complete and Perfecto. For test management tools, they are used for managing and organizing test cases or test suits or test results. For those, we have Testrel, HPM, and Zephyr. For continu continuous integration or continuous delivery, that is CI or CD tools. These tools are used for automating the build, testing, and deployment of the software applications. For those, we have Jenkins, GitLab Continuous Integration, or continuous delivery that is CI CD and 
सर्कल सी है सो वी अंडरस्टूड डिपेंड्स अपॉन द परफॉर्मेंस और द यूसेज वी हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ऑटोमेशन टूल्स अवेलेबल एंड फॉर दो वी हैव लाइक एपियम टेस्ट्रेल सेलेनियम जेमीटर सो वी हैव टू कैटेगराइज अवर पर्पज and depending upon that purpose we have to choose carefully the automation tool now let's move forward to our next question our next question is what are the advantages of selenium automation so the selenium automation saves time and effort then language and framework support it improves testing accuracy it increases the test coverage it enhances the test efficiency it has reusability also and it facilitates continuous integration and delivery so let's understand one by one so let's understand how selenium automation saves our time and effort so as compared to manual testing if there are any repetitive test cases then we can automate this allows testers to focus on more complex and exploratory testing tasks language and framework support selenium supports multiple programming languages like java python c sharp ruby and javascript it also supports different test automation frameworks like test ng j unit and n unit now the selenium also improves testing accuracy we can perform test with consistency using selenium which can improve accuracy and reliability this helps to reduce the risk of human errors it also increases the test coverage so selenium can run test on multiple browsers and operating systems which helps to increase test coverage this ensures that the application works correctly across various platforms selenium enhances test efficiency So Selenium allows testers to write test scripts that can be reused across multiple test cases. This helps to enhance test efficiency and reduce the time and effort that are required for the testing. Let's understand how Selenium supports reusability. So the Selenium supports the reuse of test cases and test scripts. so this makes it easy to maintain and update test as the application evolves it facilitates continuous integration and delivery so selenium can integrate with popular ci or cd tools like jenkins and git this allows team to automate the testing process as a part of development pipeline this helps to catch any issues early in the development cycle so because of this leading to faster and more efficient software delivery is possible so we understood that selenium allows different browsers and operating systems we can run the different test so this improves test coverage then we can perform test with consistency so this helps to improve accuracy and reliability also selenium supports multiple languages for example java python c sharp ruby and javascript as selenium can integrate with popular tools like ci and cd so this allows team to automate the testing process as a part of the development pipeline 
So if there is any issue in the development cycle, then we can resolve it. So this is how Selenium is. Selenium automation is very useful. Now let's move forward to our next question. Let's understand what are the drawbacks of Selenium automation. So in the last question, we discussed the positive sides of Selenium automation testing. Now let's understand the drawbacks. So Selenium automation testing requires programming skills. So the tester should have the knowledge of different different scripts or the languages like Java, Python or JavaScript. Maintaining automated test with Selenium will be time consuming. When there are frequent changes in the application, then it is very time consuming when you are maintaining the automated test with Selenium. Test scripts need to be updated regularly with respect to the changes in the application. It is difficult to test desktop-based application and mobile applications using Selenium. Selenium is used to test only web-based applications. Guys, this point is very important. Let's understand. Selenium is used to test only web-based applications. So we cannot test the desktop-based applications or mobile applications with Selenium. The initial setup of Selenium automation will be complex and costly as it requires investment in the tools, infrastructure and training. Automation testing tools are not effective at detecting visual defect like uh, there are some color changes, some font size or the images. Testing like exploratory, ad hoc, this cannot be performed by Selenium automation. So there are few drawbacks of Selenium automation also. Like for the testers, they should have the knowledge of scripts like Java, Python, JavaScripts. And we can only test the web-based applications. The initial setup of Selenium automation is complex and it is costly. It requires investment also, infrastructure and training also. So let's move forward to our next question. Let's understand what are some best practices in test automation. So to define clear objectives and goals. This ensures that the testers are aligned with overall testing strategy and business goals. Choose the right automation tool. So as we discussed in the last question, first, we need to ensure that tool supports the programming language and test framework used by the testing team. Develop a reusable and maintainable test framework. This makes the test code more robust and maintainable. Start with a small scope. Start with a small set of test cases that cover the most critical functionality of the application and then gradually expand the scope of testing as the test should become more stable. Use version control. So it is important to ensure that the changes are tracked, reviewed and approved by the team. Maintain a clean test environment. So ensure that the test environment is clean, consistent and isolated from other environments. Monitor and analyze test results. Monitor and analyze the test results to identify trends and areas for improvement. So we understood that we should have defined clear objectives and goals as per the test framework and the programming language, we need to choose the right automation tool. 
we have to develop a reusable and maintainable test framework. We can start with a small set of test cases and gradually we can expand to the scope of testing as the test becomes more stable. Then we can use version control. We can maintain a clean test environment and we can monitor and analyze the test results. Now let's understand what is a test automation pyramid. So it is a model for designing an effective automation that maximizes test coverage and minimizes maintenance overhead. So test automation pyramid contains three layers. First one is UI testing layer. Second one is service testing layer. And third one is unit testing layer. So let's understand this automation pyramid. Our first one is UI testing layer. The top layer of the pyramid is the UI testing layer. This consists of automated tests that stimulate user action and verify that the application behaves as expected. Third one is service testing layer. The middle layer of the pyramid is the service testing layer. This consists of automated tests that interact with the application's API or backend services. These tests verify the functionality of the application. Then there is unit testing layer. So it is the bottom layer. And this consists of automated tests that verify the functionality of individual code units or model. So we understood that there are three layers of test automation pyramid. In the first layer, it is the top layer and it is the first layer. So this verifies the application's behavior is as expectation or not. Then there is next layer. We verify that the functionality of the application. Then there is unit testing layer. And this has the verification of functionality of individual code. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.